Hello and welcome to RubyCast. My name is James Gifford and today we are going to talk about Sinatra and test-driven development. So first of all, we need to open up our terminal and we're going to install Sinatra and rack-test. So gem install Sinatra rack test. While we're waiting for that, because that may take a while, we're going to open up our editor we're going to require relative main dot rb require test unit require rack test and then we're going to set our rack env to equal test. Nope, missed some quotes there. All right, so now we're gonna define our test. We're going to write class index test. And we're gonna tell it that it inherits from test unit test case. And we're going to include rack test methods define app Sinatra application and then we're going to write our next our first test so define test it says hello world get slash so get the root file, assert last response, okay, assert equal hello world with last response dot body. And we're gonna save the file. We're gonna open up our terminal. We're gonna run Ruby test.rb. And it's going to say we have one test, two assertions, zero failures, no errors, and no skips. So now we're going to test our 404 page. So class not found inherits from test unit test case include rack test methods just like we did with the first test. We're going to define our app the same way. All right, so now we're going to write our next test. D define test it is a 404. Get Slash, I'm just going to write in some gobble goop because we know that page doesn't exist. Assert equal 404 last response dot status. Assert equal can't find it. Sorry. Last response dot body. We're going to end it. And then we're going to save the file. We're going to run our tests again. And it will say we had two tests, four assertions, zero failures, zero errors, etc. So let's go back to our editor. And let's split out the uh, test that is a 404. So we're going to have, so we're going to split this part into two different tests here. So we're going to cut this out. Define test custom 404. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. Then we're going to go ahead and end. And what this does is it lets us figure out exactly which part of the test is failing.
So we're going to open up our good old terminal again. We're going to run the test again. It's going to tell us that we did it wrong. Because what did we do wrong? We did not request a page. So now we're going to go ahead. And we're going to get slash. Here's what we'll do. We'll get the same page. Just because. And we'll go back. And if we run our tests again, it will say three tests, four assertions, zero failures, er no errors, and no skips. And there you go.